Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In today's video, I'm talking about the jailbreak status of iOS 10.3, 10.3.1 and 10.3.2, which is the latest firmware released by Apple to the public. I will also re talk about the release of iOS 10.3.3, .3, the release of iOS 11 and how that will impact the release of a new jailbreak and also we are talking about MOSAC 2017. So starting this video on a positive note, it's June 2017 and in June we have seen quite a few jailbreak releases so let's hope this will be another good June for the jailbreak community and we will see a jailbreak getting release this month. So let's get started. First let's talk about iOS 10.3.3 which right now is on beta 2 and how this impacts the release of a new jailbreak. Well due to the fact that the Panga team didn't make a move, didn't release a jailbreak after the release of the first beta of iOS 10.3.3 that leads us to believe that Apple didn't patch the exploits that the Panga team have used on iOS 10.3.1, the demo that we have seen from the Pangu on iOS 10.3.1 and those exploits are probably still alive due to the fact that we, that we haven't seen a jailbreak release by the Pangu team. So iOS 10.3.3 right now it's on beta 2 and it, this beta has been released almost 2 weeks from now and Apple has not released yet any other beta. I believe in a week or two we should see probably not this week the week after this we will see the public release of iOS 10.3.3 to the public and then that will be the best time for the Pangu team to release a jailbreak tool for iOS 10.3 up to 10.3.3 hopefully if Apple doesn't patch any of the exploits that they used on the final release of iOS 10.3.3 but we have another iOS release, iOS 11. So let's talk about that and how that will impact the release of a new jailbreak. So iOS 11 has been released on beta 1 and here's why it's important for the release of a new jailbreak. Last year we saw the Pangu team demoing a jailbreak on iOS 10 while iOS 10 was still on beta 1. But on beta 2 Apple patched the exploits that the Pangu team used and then they released that jailbreak with those exploits on iOS 9.3.3. So I believe this year we might see the same scenario happening. iOS 11 might patch any of the exploits that the Pangu team did use on the iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak which they demoed. If Apple doesn't patch them on 10.3.3 hopefully they will be patched on iOS 11, beta 1 or beta 2 and then after the release, the final release of 10.3.3, we can see the jailbreak getting released by the Pangu team. And the scariest scenario is that if Apple doesn't patch those exploits on any of the betas of iOS 11, then the Pangu team might hold on to those exploits and then just release the jailbreak after the final release of iOS 11, which will be in September of this year. Another very important event that will happen this month is MOSEC 2017 which is a mobile security conference which is organized by the Pangu team. And what's very weird is that on the website, on the offic official website of MOSEC, here Pangu team has set all the dates here, all the times for the speakers but none of them are from the Pangu team. So we have also Luca Tedesco here. But there is no Pangu member that will talk on MOSEC 2017. But they are not scheduled right here. Maybe they will talk. But here on this schedule, there is no one from the Pangu team that will hold a talk here on MOSEC 2017. Of course, they are the organizers. And we will probably see any of the team members talking about the jailbreak or their exploits or something. But on the official official schedule here there is nothing there is no Pangu team scheduled to talk on the MOSEC 2017. So based on everything that will happen and has happened this month the release of iOS 11 the upcoming release of iOS 10.3.3 and MOSEC 2017 I believe that it's a very high possibility that we will see a jailbreak getting released by the end of this month hopefully on MOSEC 2017 Pangu team will go ahead and release 
the jailbreak that they showed us here on the iPhone 7 iOS 10.3.1 but hopefully it will also support 10.3.2 and 10.3.3 once it gets released. So my prediction is that we will see the jailbreak getting released by the end of this month or the beginning of the next month. So hopefully keep our hopes high, don't be disappointed we will probably see a jailbreak game release this week. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Go ahead and subscribe for more news and for more updates on the jailbreak status of the latest iOS firmwares. So that's it from me. Go ahead and subscribe, as I said, for more videos and also follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.